Hello everyone, Melissa Brown and Jennifer Anastasi, Elite Social Management here doing our blog on um, one of our topics that we want to talk today about is Groupons. Um, specifically, there's a lot of buzz regarding Groupons because you right. see they go very viral. I know I've spent a lot of time looking at those Groupons and getting some really great deals, but from a business perspective, um, what's your take on businesses investing time within Groupons because there are pros and cons to that right now. Well, it's interesting that, you know, Groupon's been this phenomenon that we've seen over the last year just grow and by leaps and bounds. And I think from a consumer perspective, uh, it's pretty much a win-win situation. There's been a little bit of backlash on the consumer side where uh, some businesses maybe have given a lesser service when a Groupon uh, customer comes in or they've changed things around. But really, for the most part, we're seeing that uh, Groupon customers are fairly satisfied. Yeah, I'm very satisfied. You're very satisfied when you use Groupons. Groupons. Uh, the one thing they do from a consumer perspective is they tend to review harder. So if you have a, a person that comes in through a Groupon, a living social, a daily deal, whatever the the local deal site is for you, uh, they tend to give you uh, less stars, let's say, on a Yelp review. They tend to be a little bit more critical. So you, from a business perspective, it's just something to be aware of when you look at the consumers that right. use a Groupon. Because as a consumer myself, I know that I'll travel further for a good deal, so I feel like the time that I'm using to go out there, I want to make sure that I want to come back. It wasn't just a one time, you know, right. one and done, so to speak. So. Exactly. From a business perspective, it's... You know, I think the jury's still out on, on the Groupons. It'll be interesting to see how, you know, they develop over the coming months and if they have a viable business model. So there's a few things with Groupon. Obviously, you know, most business owners realize Groupon puts together a deal for their customer base that is so compelling that they have to act on it. And by doing so, they've reduced the price value or the price point of your product or service. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, you know, they take another 50% of whatever that deal is. So you as the business owner, you may actually be doing each of those deals or each of those, honoring each of those Groupons at a loss. Mm -hmm. And not just at a small loss, but at a large loss. So really it comes down to, you know, what are you looking for? Are you looking for consumers that will take the Groupon, uh, come in once and never come back? Or are you looking to build those loyal business followers that come in and become, you know, ambassadors for your brand, your product, or your service? Mm -hmm. And I think right now it's, in my opinion, the jury's definitely still out on this one. I think it's something you have to be careful of. You want to put a limit on. You want to make sure that you can handle the influx of business, that it's not going to upset maybe your regular customer base. Mm -hmm. Say you're a restaurant and you put a group on out there and suddenly your regulars that come in every week can't get a table. Right. You know, that's not a good way to engage your base when you don't know if the Groupon user is even going to come back. Exactly. So the cost of acquiring a new customer through Groupon you know, it's sometimes cost prohibitive, but I would say it's good for businesses to try. I prefer to try more of the local um, services, maybe like a plum district or a living social or a daily deal or whatever you might have in your area that has more of a targeted market mm -hmm. to, to your customer base. Groupon has a mass appeal. Um, anyway, I would say the jury's still out. Uh, just do your homework. Make sure you're not gonna lose money as a business owner. Make sure you're willing to take that risk and understand the repercussions of what a Groupon might do to your business. Okay, and so it sounds like bottom line, we're still juries out. Um, I have seen someone actually take a Groupon and once they were there, they said, hey, let's do another Groupon deal outside of Groupon, so just a little tip, you can still offer that and not have to take that Groupon hit um, but then get them to come back in one more time and get a, an extra um, service out of out of a customer. So perhaps you want to take that tip and just offer that to them without going through to Groupon. Don't know if Groupon's going to get mad for us saying that, but that's just something that you can do as a um, as a business owner. So um, once again, sounds like it's still out, and we'll probably revisit this uh, topic again every few weeks. It changes. Yep. yep. All right. Thank you.